living celebrations were planned throughout the Jin State, including Boise, Twin Falls, Lipway and Rexburg with live performances, local vendors, food and dance, community members gathered in celebration for the 4th annual Family Function Juneteenth event on Saturday at Julia Davis Park in Downville. For a weekend of celebration, Juneteenth Idaho and the Black Liberation Collective partnered with local organizations and black-owned businesses such as the Honey Pot CBD, Juicy Yoga, Honey's Holistics, Cutting Up, Amina's African Sambuses, among many others. Last year, the state and federal government signed a law designating June 19, known as Juneteenth, as an official holiday. Though it was declared a public holiday only as of last year, Juneteenth has historically been celebrated by black communities across the country to honor the emancipation of enslaved African Americans during the end of the Civil War. On June 19, 1865, over two years after President, Abraham, Link. The Boise community was not the only city in Idaho celebrating Juneteenth this weekend. Holiday celebrations took place across the state with events happening in Twin Falls and Lipway. Students at Brigham Young University Idaho and Rexburg will also celebrate the date on Monday. Juneteenth is a space of so much black joy for people across the diaspora. It's just empowering to know that people who look like you and who share a common heritage are all here in Idaho, even if we don't see each other often," said Prisca Herman, a Boise resident originally from the Congo who volunteered and performed at the Boise event. Throughout the celebration, organizers were actively reminding attendees to stay hydrated, well-nourished and conscious of COVID-19 considerations. Concerns after Patriot Front arrests and North Idaho community organizers expressed safety concerns for the Juneteenth event after a group of men from the white nationalist group Patriot Front appeared in Coeur Lane the day of a Pride event. The Patriot Front members were arrested on June 11 for conspiracy to riot after a 911 caller alerted the police to a group of men crowding inside in a U-Haul truck. Nonprofit leaders participating in the Boise Juneteenth event expressed their personal thoughts on the incident. The Idaho Black Community Alliance's booth at the Juneteenth celebration on June 18, 2022, in Boise, Idaho. Mia Maldonado slash Idaho Capital Sun, it's terrifying and triggering. You never think, oh that U-Haul truck holds people who dislike me because I'm black, said Whitley Hawk, the co-founder of Inclusive Idaho.